Hello, welcome back. In the previous session, I explained how the ETAP interface works. I explained what all the components do in the ETAP interface. I also showed you this is the AC and these are DC components. All these are instrumentation components. Now, in this session, I'm going to be jumping right in into how to model a single line diagram and I'll be showing you a manual way which takes time and also an automatic way which is more faster. Now let me begin with the manual way. We are going to have a power grid. In order to find a power grid we go to the AC components. This is the AC components and move your cursor until it shows power grid which is this. And we click on it, we drag and come to the center of the workspace and we draw. Now, assume you want to connect a bus bar to the power grid. We click on a bus bar. This is a bus. We click and we drag to where we want to drop it. And we drop. We click to drop. Now, in order to connect these two components, you move your cursor to the power grid until this pink dot appears. And you click on it, then you drag your cursor to the bus bar until it turns pink. And you click on it, then they are connected. If you want to connect a transformer, let's say a two winding transformer, you come to the two winding transformer from the AC elements, you click, you drag, and you come, you drop it. In order to connect it to the bus bar, you find the pink spot, yes. You click on it, you drag to the bus bar until it turns pink, and you click. Now it's connected. Now this is this is a manual way of modeling your single line diagram. I'll show you a faster way now. Now a faster way, if we take a power grid, we want to model this same single line diagram, we take a power grid. I want to connect the bus bar. Now we come here. We come here. It's called auto build. Enable one line auto build. You click on this. Then you click on your power grid. Now, if you notice, some of the components are grayed out once I click on the power grid. If I remove it, all the components are active. Now, a feature this auto build produces is it allows you to know the components you can connect together. So clicking on this shows us that we cannot connect another power grid to a power grid. We cannot connect an induction machine, that is an AC motor, directly to the power grid. So we want to connect a bus bar. Now once we click on the bus bar, it automatically connects, which makes it easier and faster. Now if we want to connect a transformer, the bus bar is already hi highlighted, that's why it's red. You just go and click on the transformer and it automatically connects. So that's the manual and automatic way of modeling. Now we are going to be taking into consideration an example. Let me just delete this first. Where we'll be modeling the system. Now we'll start by bringing out the power grid. Now we have our power grid. The next thing is to bring a bus bar. But the power grid, we are going to enter the ratings, appropriate ratings for the power grid. In order to do that, you double, double click on it and a dialog box appears which we can see rating now the voltage level of the power grid let's say 13.8 13.8 now remember it's a swing power grid is always a swing then we come to short circuit MVA short circuit and let's say 1250 then click OK. 
Now we want to connect a boss bar. But see this part? KV to apply to selected boss. If we should use the auto build and bring and click on a boss, the boss bar will automatically take this KV. This KV rating. So since we want our boss bar to be 13.8, all we have to do is to change this to 13.8. Then we connect our boss bar. It automatically has the rating of 13.8 KV. Now I'll be teaching on how to expand the boss bar. In order to expand the length of this boss bar, you click on it and then take your arrow to the edge of the boss bar until your cursor rather until it changes to a, a two-edged arrow and you click and drag see that click and drag you come over to this side and do the same thing so now we've extended the length of the bus bar now in order to get a transformer connected let's say a two winding transformer our auto build is on you click on the line Bus bar rather you click on the transformer it automatically connects now you can move this let's put in the ratings of the transformer <coughs> sorry double click to open this dialog box and go to the rating page the secondary of this transformer will be 4.16 and the MVA rating should be 20. Now it will automatically calculate the full load current in amperes once you put the power rating. As you can see, the impedance. Now whenever you are modeling a transformer and you don't know the impedance, you can always click this typical Z and X arrow. GitHub has a library where you get typical impedance for the transformer rating you selected. So, next, next thing we'll do is click OK. After that. We have the transformer connected to another bus bar. <coughs> Sorry. And in order to extend the length, remember you click two edged arrow, you extend, you extend, and take this down a little. Let's make it more spacious. Yeah. So, next thing we do is to connect what we call a lump load. We click on this, and we have our lump load, which is this. Double click on it for ratings, name plate. Let's say 5 MVA. Everything intact. And let's move the motor load to, let's say, 50%. Yeah. Now, this is constant power load, this is constant impedance load. So, I'm making it 50 50. Then we click OK. After that, we connect the generator. Now, if we bring this generator here, we want to connect it to this bus bar. But the connection is under. <coughs> Sorry. Connection is under, so how then do we connect it? 
simply by rotating the generator and we can do that by control arrow so it's now here you can shift this name now if you click on the generator the ratings you can move them by clicking on it and taking it under And connect it to the bus bar. I'm gonna have to put the ratings for the generator. Let's say five megawatts. Five megawatts. Eighty percent power factor. Okay. And next, we bring down this same representation on this side. Now let's see. We need the two winding transformer. We connect. So it'll be a little bit faster this time. 20 MVA. 4.16. Typical. Okay, and then we connect the bus bar. Which I would like to extend. All right. Now we have a cable. We need a cable. Is a cable? You click on it. Bring it here, you drop, click. Now, I'm going to enter cable specifications. The length of the cable should be 200 feet. Now we can change the units from meters to feet. 200. In order to select cable, we go to library and we have a whole library of cables now the cable we are looking for is NEC EPR 133% 3 core 5 KV so the easiest way is to come from here and find the KV rating first now we are in 5 and 5 KV then the next thing we look at 133% but we are looking for EPR so we are having 133% here 3 core EPR but they said NEC NEC which is this one 3 core NEC non magnetic No, yeah, this and the size should be four over zero. Okay, now I'll teach cable and transformer sizing in subsequent lessons. Okay, then we connect a transformer. Now I'll be connecting a transformer to this cable directly. However, we can see that bus 4 was created. Now, this is as a result of when two impedance components are being connected together, ETAP automatically inserts a node bus. That is what formed this bus 4 here. So, transformer ratings, let's say 1 MVA. Voltage. 0.48 KV
to a bus bar and then to a lump low. Now I want to duplicate this here. <coughs> now all I need to do is to copy this. First I'll select and copy Ctrl C and come here and Ctrl V paste and we have it here. Same thing, you click to connect. Now you observe whenever I click any component like transformer, I'm highlighting the cable, the bus bar, and the lump load. If I click the lump load, I'm highlighting everything. So you right click and uncheck this box, this group. So now they are all individuals, individual components. We can extend this bus bar. And this. And introduce a low voltage circuit breaker since we are dealing on low voltage here. It will be used as a bus coupler. A bus coupler is simply a circuit breaker that links two buses. So basically, we have successfully built a single line diagram. I'll be giving more examples on our WhatsApp community. So if you're not there, try to be part of it. If you're yet to subscribe, smash that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next session. Thank you.